project was to create a simple embedded system that can communicate with common microcontrollers to generate PWM signals. The idea was necessary because many commonly used microcontrollers have a strict limit of PWM pins available. For example, the Arduino Uno has a total of six PWM pins. This may suffice for common applications, but what if I need to control eight servo motors for an eight-legged spider by or what if I had a six-wheeled robot that needed an additional motor mounted on top to control the direction of a sensor? My device would be a simple, cheap, innovative solution to this common problem. The Arduino Uno is the master device in my demonstration. This microcontroller sends out bytes of information that would determine which motor to affect and the speed or position that the motor would change to. Here's the code that is programmed on Arduino for the demonstration. I decided to use SPI protocol to easily communicate between the devices. The set motor function is used to read in a value that determines which motor to select and a value that corresponds to the speed or position. These values are transferred bit by bit to the CPOD. Since a byte of information determines speed, my integer values range from 0 to 255. For the first case, I set motor 1 with a speed of 230 and motor 2 with a much slower speed of 125. Therefore, you would notice that the result of these three sets of calls will make motor 1 speed up while motor 2 is slowing down. My CPLD based PWM generator will behave as the slave in my demonstration. Here's the block diagram of my customized modules used to read the information sent from the Arduino and to generate the necessary waveforms. Each module was designed in VHDL. I will post the source code on Mercer's Robotics Club website. All of this code is programmed to the CPLD by using a USB blaster. Once the information is processed, the generator sends the signal to the necessary motor drivers and the motors respond accordingly. <laughs> 